One kind of neo-traditional music is so popular that it hasn't needed any help from arts organizations. Tasa drumming is one of the most dynamic parts of the North Indian musical heritage and has become a lively component of Trinidadian music culture. The Tasa or Tasha drums may have originated in Persia, but the ensemble assumed its definitive form in North Indian cities like Lucknow and Benares in the early 1800s. Today, groups with Tasa kettle drums, bass drums called dhol, and metal cymbals or shakers are heard throughout North India. In Bhojpuri region cities like Benares, Tasa groups play at various sorts of outdoor events and processions. Aside from weddings, a Tasa band could be hired to enliven a political rally. Tasa drummers might also be engaged to accompany a street protest, like this march denouncing the careless use of kites with glass-sharpened strings that cause many injuries every year. In both Trinidad and North India, Tasa groups are especially prominent in Muharram, an annual event in which Shia Muslims commemorate the martyrdom of Hussein, a grandson of the Prophet Muhammad. Hussein and his comrades were killed in a battle in Karbala, modern-day Iraq, in the year 680. Some ardent Shias honor their fallen saint by beating themselves with whips. Other Muharram participants express their devotion by building mobile taziyas, imaginative replicas of the tombs of the martyrs, which are paraded through the streets. On one level, Indian Muharram dramatizes the community's devotion to its martyrs. On another level, it's an occasion for working-class neighborhoods to display their solidarity and take pride in the craftsmanship and beauty of their tazias. Meanwhile, a more immediate level of drama involves getting the tazias underneath the tangle of canopies and electric wires that dangle over every narrow lane. If the top of a tazia gets knocked off, Someone has to pop into a doorway, scamper up some stairs, and put it back on, perhaps enlisting the help of a child. Accompanying the Tazias are several Tasa bands, mostly composed of amateurs like these players in Delhi's old city. Some play showy drum rolls and solicit tips. Generally, however, the Muharram rhythms are more solemn in character, like those played by these drummers in Benares. In the 1800s, Muharram took root in Trinidad and British Guyana, where, rather than being purely Shia events, the processions came to be joined by thousands of other Indians as well as Afro-Caribbeans. Repressed in the 1880s by fearful British rulers, the processions were thenceforth permitted only in the Trinidadian town of Sidros and in the St. James neighborhood of Port of Spain. There, Jose, as it is called locally, is commemorated every year by family-based centers or yards who build tazias and man the skilled tasa groups that accompany them. The groups play a set of special rhythms derived from North Indian models that dramatize episodes of the Karbala disaster.
Meanwhile, Tassa drumming is heard year-round in Trinidad at various occasions, especially Hindu weddings. Usually a Tassa group is booked for a Friday night party at the groom's house, and then for the wedding day itself on Sunday. The drumming begins when the groom's party, or barat, arrives with its own Tassa band, which joins the band hired by the bride's family. The two engage in a friendly competitive session called a jostle, in which they play special wedding rhythms. Later, the two groups meet for a more cacophonous jostle, in which they play different rhythms at once and try to overpower each other by sheer volume, stamina, and determination. Formal competitions are another part of the Tassa scene. Dozens of groups take part in these for the prize money, the pleasure of playing on stage, and the prestige and subsequent bookings that accrue to winners. In most competitions, like Prem Singh's Junior Tassa Rama, groups are required to play a fixed sequence of rhythms and are judged by standardized criteria. Nevertheless, the judges' decisions invariably provoke some people to hurl accusations of bias and others to simply shrug their shoulders and smile. Tassa drumming is not a question of free, noisy jamming over a simple beat. Rather, it involves group mastery of a set of composite rhythms called hands with tight coordination between the ensemble members who typically play two tassa kettle drums, a large bass drum, and brass cymbals called jal or chanj. The lead tassa, called the cutter, plays flashy foreground parts and guides the group through cadential patterns called tals, which might segue to a different hand or to a faster section called barthi of the same hand. The player of the second tassa, the fule or fuller, supports the cutter. Most of the hands are adaptations or arrangements of rhythms from other sources. The kabir bhajan hand comes from rhythms accompanying devotional songs for the 16th century saint kabir. called Nagara derives from typical rhythms played on the Nagara drum. Some hands come from local classical music, an idiosyncratic Trinidadian version of North Indian light classical music. One such hand is Tumri. A typical drum suite might last 10 or 20 minutes. Most often, it would start with tikora, with its prominent cutter rolls, and proceed through various tals and different hands. <laughs> 